guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, today I thought we would do another look with the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 um, eyeshadow palette. I had so much fun the first time around. This time I decided not to do glitter. It was really hard because I really wanted to. But I thought that I would show you the poet section. So the section I really didn't get to play with last time, I thought I'd create a look based on the color of my blouse. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my ch channel, as always, thank you so very much. And if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button if videos like this are of interest to you. All right, so for those of you that didn't see the first tutorial I did with the Tati Beauty Textures Neutrals, I'll put it here. <clears throat> I did a more, what I would call, <laughs> it started out neutral, <laughs> and then I got into the glitter. And it went everywhere. It was like a little fairy, uh, you know, glitter, glitter everywhere. And let me just start by saying the formula is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to review it. I've already done that. But I will just briefly say that I love the formula. I love the palette itself. I love the colors. I have really enjoyed playing with this. I will say, however, I have tried several times playing with the glitters. And each and every time I get it everywhere. So I'm not really sure how... <laughs> These people out there are doing this glitter and not getting it anywhere. Um, I get it everywhere. So it could just be, I don't do, use glitter. I use um, shimmer practically every day, um, which I would assume is very similar to either their metallic or se her metallic or sequin. But I love how she's laid this out. I think it's quite lovely. I love the mirror. Um, but what today what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate right here down this row for Poet and have some fun with those colors. Let's begin. In a little bit. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I did put my eyebrows on. This time I have no makeup on. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use glitter. I say that and then, you know what happened last time. But um, I'm not anticipating using glitter today. Uh, again, that could change. Um, so I'm going to go in with Aura. I kept calling it Aurora last time. Aura. I think I'm my frozen element. And um, again, I'm just going to put that um, all over uh, the lid. This is such a great base, if I didn't mention that before. So as uh, you know, we get older, we tend to get... Uh, you know the little blue lines and little imperfections um this time around I don't have any makeup on did I say that already I think I did I don't know I have a plugged up here that I've had plugged up for like a week and you'll ever get that and then it's like god you just feel like you just don't feel quite right I'm gonna go in with soothe and I'm gonna go into the sequin and if you didn't see the first look that I created which I thought was a really beautiful look um, and it's more the palette than it is me, believe me. Um, I will uh, go ahead and put that right here so that you can see. But um, Soothe is a great transition, um, whether you do the matte or the uh, sequin. Um, it's just a really great transition color. So I'm going to put that high up on the brow. And then what I'm going to do is... I want to darken the crease a little bit, so I'm going to go into Ritual in the matte. And I'm just going to keep it uh, in the crease. I am going to take um, Poet, which is that beautiful purple color. I think this would make a great lipstick, by the way. In case anybody's listening <laughs> um, I think it would be really really pretty and I'm just gonna stay kind of on the outer third okay and then I'm gonna work it in do take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna work it in and kind of blend it up into the crease ears are plugged my nose is running <sighs> Okay, let's see. So I think, okay, let's take Poet and we're going to go into Sequin. I'm going to go in with a flat brush. So that's this one right here. And I'm going to go very light hand. Back 
into Poet as I want to really darken that outer corner. I like this brush a little bit better. I'm going to go in with the black. I know. Oh my, 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 my. And then what I'm going to do is just go along my lash line. I have a 10x mirror here on the side. And I'm going to take the very end corner and just kind of flick it up. I have hooded eyes, and I have eyes that kind of not only hood but kind of droop. Okay, now let's see. We have to do something with the inner corner. So I am going to take. Uh, Ara and I'm going to go in with the metallic with my finger and just put that in the inner corner And then I'm just gonna kind of blend these two This looks so pretty now. I'm gonna go in um, with um, Ritual and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to go in with the sequin. The palette gets heavy. That mirror is so nice. And I am going to just, again, darken that crease. Just very high up. With a very light hand. And I'm going to just... Feather this out a little bit. What I'm going to do is take a little Max Fix Plus, spray it on the brush, and then just dip it into Poet, the metallic, and I am just going to, right in the center, just kind of darken that a little bit. And something happens when you wet the brush. It just really has this pretty silky effect to it. And then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. So now let me go ahead and finish my face. We'll do the bottom lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have my makeup on with the exception of lips. I've just got a little bit of uh, the MAC sugar scrub going. Um, so let me go ahead and let's finish with the um, under uh, the under eyes. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in, I'm pretty sure, light medium. And... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the bottom uh, lashes. So I'm just going to go in with Poet and... Do the outer portion. Go in with Poet and let's go in with this sequin. So I'll edge that there. Go in with Ara. And I'm going to go in with the metallic and I'm going to hit the inner corner, both upper and lower. This is so pretty. And then I'm going to take a small little brush and I am going to go in with Ara, um, the, the matte and hit the upper brow bone since I forgot to do that earlier. bit of poet and I just want to put some more. There we go. Now let me go ahead and put on some mascara. 
Okay, we'll use the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout. Let's go in with the It Cosmetics Romantic Rose. And now we need a really super pretty color. Let's do, let's use City Lips in Dusty Rose. Let me see. Let me see if this will. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, guys, so that's the look I created. I will be right back and we'll talk about it. All right, guys, so that is it for my uh, eye look with the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I think the palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love this color, especially with this blouse that I'm wearing. And as always, everything will be listed in the description box, um, including everything I wear, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if you were aware of that, but if you open up the box, Whatever I'm wearing when I do a video, um, if it's available, I always list it in the description box, including the jewelry that I'm wearing. Um, so uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Bye guys.